Hi guys and welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name's Arietta and today I've got an unboxing for you from a company that I've never tried before. So let's get into this. So, this comes from Treasure Studios Art. And this looks like a really lovely package. Looks like it's come in really good condition. It was in a box and bubble wrapped and then postal wrapping. So yeah, let's have a look. Uh, on the box, we've got basic instructions. And on the end, there's a picture of what I ordered so I'm not going to show you that we'll just get into it and have a look oh pretty okay what a lovely lovely arrangement um so this is a painting called Wildlife by an artist called Maria, and then I'm going to butcher her last name. Um, it is Abagnale. Um, uh, it'll be here, written on the screen. Um, <laughs> so let's have a little look at what we get. I will bring you in a bit. So we'll start by taking a little look at the toolkit. It comes in this really lovely um, sort of voil bag. Um, it is branded with Treasure Studios art. And inside we get a double sized plate of red wax. Uh, the moss for white boat with spout. We've got a four placer and a seven placer and a straightener, which is a good size. I've then got a single placer with a plastic tip, pink squishy. and pink tweezers, which are round tipped. Um, if I can just grab a set of... So these are the sort of tweezers that you may have seen in other high-end kits. They're incredibly sharp, really pointed. So the difference here is that you're getting... Oh, you're getting a rounded tip. So it'd be interesting to see the difference that that makes, uh, whether it's better for working with certain drills than others. So really nice kit, everything that you need. Let's take a look at the canvas. It's gonna be a bit crinkling. Now, I am going to be extra careful with this canvas because this, although it appears like a poured glue, is not a poured glue. Um, it is a mounting film. And I've never worked with that before because there aren't many companies that do it. So I know, well, <laughs> I don't know a lot about it, to be honest. What I do know is that um it is super strong 
<laughs> so we will see now then so we've got 35 colors in this i'm just gonna move you out and it's quite a subtle image but that's one of the things i really liked about it um you've got this sort of nature goddess face here with her hair with the branches and then also the antlers um coming down into the body of the deer and it all just sort of melds together um i will there's the the thumbnail that's So yeah, so it is 50 by 65. I will just measure that to see if it is the canvas size or the drill bill size. That is 65 for the drill image. And so I'm expecting this to be 50 across. And it is 50 across. So, this is really good. I'll just bring you down and we'll have a look at some of the symbols. So we've got uh, some alphabet symbols and then some other more unusual symbols but there doesn't seem to be anything um nothing that i can't read um we've got up arrows and down arrows so that's always something that you need to be a bit careful with let's look at what colors those are uh 939 and six four five so mm, not too bad um we've got oh, we've got no 310 probably nice um if you look here this little collection of symbols here um these may again they're a little bit similar So you've got this sort of cross type symbol and then also there's the um, uh, kind of a egg timery type symbol um, and they are incredibly similar colours. Um, so again, just... Hopefully it will be okay and there won't be anything that I can't cope with. Um, I was just looking at the, there's a swirl and there's a capital G, but those are different colours. One's red, one's blue, so that shouldn't be too tricky. Um, just move you back out. There we go. So I'll just give you a little shot of the legend she says not being able to find the camera <laughs> there we go right so one five two one five eight those are all fairly straightforward yeah i think it's just going to be in the dark colors that we might have some problems in telling the difference between one symbol or another but I will report back once I have worked on it a little bit. Um, the canvas itself says here um, that this is, they support artists worldwide. Um, one of the things that I liked about Treasure Studio Arts is that they pay all of their artists. It's all licensed artwork. Um, money back guarantee, always nice. Um, and we've got their their social media bits so it's treasurestudioart.com they've got facebook 
got Instagram and Pinterest. Right. So, um, the coating on this is really interesting. So, um, I can peel back a little bit. It, this coating, the protective layer is much, much thicker than what I've received on um, previous paintings. Uh, but the actual glue itself feels more like the double sided. So it'd be interesting to see whether I prefer it, what it's like. As I say, I've never worked with anything like this before. This is an entirely new experiment. So let's take a look at the drills. Now these come in bags, which is lovely. I'm just gonna take them out of their cellophane. Okay, and we have got an inventory sheet as well. Um, so this will be really great. I'll be able to run this through the sticker maker. And again, we've got a, another picture of the image there. So color wise, um, we've got a huge bag of 99s. It's always nice when trying out a different company to have a look at the quality of the dark drills and the light drills. with dimples in the back but nothing I can't see any tabs or puddles there is you see just here a little piece of trash but that's to be expected um, until I'm working on the drills not really going to be able to see in terms of whether they're too small and whether they're going to be gappy but um they're incredibly sparkly okay they all look okay I hope they are because there's a lot of them. Um, <laughs> nine three nines, we've got nine thousand eight hundred and thirty. That's a lot, right? Um, let's try. I'll just I whiz through these ones. Oh. These ones, I can already see I've got a few hollow ones. Um, just um, which I now can't find. So some of them, they're just a little bit too thin. Um, you sort of end up with like the shell of a drill. Um, yeah, there's a there's a couple in this bag. This is the 3833. There's a couple in here that have got um, little bobbles on the outside. Um, tabs and such but I know that you always get more than you need so 
long as I can pick through and get the best ones, hopefully that will be okay. How many have I actually needed this one? So this is 3833. Three. Uh, I need 806. So yeah, hopefully there is a decent amount that I can use. love that colour. 3844, that's fabulous. Really lovely. And thankfully, those look fine. Uh, yeah, so for the most part, you can see almost all of those have got a little dimple in the back, like a little pinprick. Um, for the most part, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, it's if that gets deep and then you're losing sort of material from the drill. And that's when you end up with a sort of shell of a drill instead of a full drill. Um, nice mustardy yellow colour. Oh, these colours together, they're gorgeous. Love them. Um, 152. Looks fine. 3859. No obvious problems in that one. A couple of hitchhikers in this one. This is 158. interesting these ones are like really almost airtight and then this one is super loose loosey goosey ah see there's another can i show you that one ah. let me grab the tweezers so it's, it's this one here between the tweezers that is what i mean when i talk about drill shells where they're sort of empty inside which means they won't stick to the canvas and also sometimes they can look um slightly transparent so sometimes you can see the canvas through them particularly if it's a light color all the threes gorgeous gorgeous love a bit of purple um, don't look too bad peachy colors So I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to this one. I might save this for the autumn. It feels like an autumnal picture to me. So maybe once I've got through the summer, it will be something to work on. Oh, see, these look really lovely. They're you know, really straight and good and no problems at all. You just can't tell sometimes. of bright green seven oh two yeah so we only need a hundred and thirty of those so oh, pumpkin colours 
definitely autumnal. Seems just. Yeah, I can see me sitting here. This is a nice warm drink, listening to the rainfall outside. <laughs> Something quite comforting about that, I think, listening to the rain when you're indoors. Um, see this one here oh which you can't see because i've put it in a shadow this one here is misshapen so that's one that i wouldn't use it's i mean you get so many spares it's just not worth using ones that aren't as perfect as they can be because ultimately it will ruin the finished look because you'll spot it and it will drive you mad <laughs> So. It's up there with hanging a picture slightly crooked, <laughs> forever knowing, even though nobody else can maybe tell. Just always being aware of it. Okay. Nine, two, one. So, if any of you have tried Treasure Studio Art, I would love to know what picture you got from them, what you thought about it, and um, what's your feeling about this, the mounted glue, mount, mounting film. Because um, as I say, I've never tried it before. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to order from this company, just because it was, it was something different I hadn't done before. And um, yeah, you don't know till you try it. So I wanted to have a go, but I would love to know what you guys think of this company what experience you've had and um, i think there is at least one other company that does the mounting films so if you've if you've shopped there and worked on one of their canvases do let me know it's another little misshapen one it's not the end of the world though oh, i like this color too see these are all such lovely colors really vibrant and warm So it's really nice to have these all in baggies, as I say, because if, you know, if you didn't want to kit up, you could just work out of these bags and it'd be absolutely fine. They've already got the DMCs written on. Um, you could go through and you know, draw the symbols on or um, turn the sheet, the sticker sheet into a label if you wanted to. Lots of options. And um, yeah, it's really, really nicely put together. I love the way it was packaged. Um, really, really nice. So, some details for you. Um, so, as I say, it was from Treasure Studio Arts and it is Wildlife by Maria Abagnale. Um, it is a 50 by 65 in square. Um, it what well, I paid a total of £34.84, um, which included shipping from Australia. Um, and I ordered it on the 12th of February and it arrived on the 20th of March. Yeah, so um, I don't have anything else to say about this today. Uh, do let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this company, um, if you like this artwork, uh, if you've seen any of the artist's other work and you want to let me know about that. Um, if you've worked on a um, mounted glue canvas before, let me know about that as well. Um, I would love for you to consider subscribing, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.